Item number SCP-1057 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1057 is kept in a reinforced glass containment tank 4 meters tall, 15 meters long, and 9 meters wide, filled with water which has been treated to replicate a temperate ocean environment. See Document 1057-H22 for specifications. Vegetation in SCP-1057's habitat is to be maintained twice a week. See Document 1057-H19 for specifications. It is forbidden to enter SCP-1057's tank for 30 minutes before and after feedings. SCP-1057 is to be fed 5 kg of raw meat and fish, three times a day. Once every four days, the meat and fish is to be injected with non-toxic fluorescent dyes. See Document 1057-G4 for specifications. The tank is to be lit with ultraviolet lamps. Description. SCP-1057 is an animate empty space, 5 meters long, in the shape of an adult tiger shark. Galea Pseudocuvier. It does not appear to have any mass, however, it displaces water by an unknown mechanism. SCP-1057's refractive index is approximately that of air, which makes it partially visible when immersed in salt water. As well, its anti-shadow is discernible under bright light. Experiments involving the insertion of inanimate objects into SCP-1057's body have revealed that there is nothing there. However, further experiments along these lines are contraindicated as this triggers extremely aggressive behavior on the part of SCP-1057. SCP-1057's behavior has been assessed by Foundation ichthyologists as being within normal parameters for an adult tiger shark. Any food consumed by SCP-1057 disappears, with the exception of the non-digestible fluorescent dyes, which are regularly added to SCP-1057's food to facilitate monitoring its behavior. These dyes persist within SCP-1057 for five to nine days, and outline a digestive and circulatory system. Several hypotheses to explain how this is possible when there is manifestly no actual shark present have been suggested, tested, and disproved. See Archive 1057-N4 Acquisition Log SCP-1057 was captured in the public swimming pool in where it killed two swimmers and mutilated a lifeguard. Five people were killed in the ensuing panic. Foundation personnel embedded in the local hospital reported the incident. Retrieval agents arrived on the scene, but SCP-1057 was eventually taken into custody. During forensic examination of the swimming pool premises, document 1057-K24 was discovered on the staff bulletin board. Although document 1057-K24 is handwritten, no fingerprints were found on it. Document 1057-K24 Panic means that the idea of a shark can be more dangerous than an actual shark. It can even be more dangerous than no shark at all. Are we cool yet?